Hey everyone, I've got a real treat for you in this video. So we are going to be taking a look at the entire We Be Goblins Pathfinder Battles special set. And this is from 2013. There are a total of 12 goblins in this set. Six are common and six are rare. And you get three of each common and one of each rare, which is really nice. So if you get a, if you find one of these, then you'll get a complete set. So I was able to find this. It took me a long time, but I was able to actually find a, a case of these on eBay and it was about $150. And there are uh, 24 packs inside of this, uh, this little shelf box. And what the stores would do is they would just open this up and then you would just take a little plastic pack out and your goblin miniature would be in that pack. So uh, these cost me about $6.25 per miniature. And I'm really glad that I was able to find one of these instead of paying the ridiculous prices that they are individually, anywhere between five and $30 per miniature singly. So let's get these up on the wheel and take a look. Look. All right, so here is Goblin Warrior, number one of 12. And this is common, and I got three out of the case. Cute Goblin. Nice green color, nice shiny teeth. I guess he's got like a horse chopper or a dog slicer weapon. But I, I do like the, the armor that he's got on. He's got like a pouch in the back, got some other stuff hanging off of his belt, so... Yeah, nice little goblin, goblin warrior, number one of 12 common, and I got three of them. And all these goblins are on small bases also. Well, the first couple are on small bases. So here's number two, goblin hero. Uh, nice different pose, and he's got like a dog slicer in his hand also. He's screaming Briark or whatever the goblins scream in Pathfinder, or they may be even singing the... Uh, the goblin song that they have, that cute little goblin song. But for a small miniature, the detail is really nice. I mean, I love the I love the green color of their skin. And then I like all the detail on the mini itself with the pouches and all of the bones and stuff on his uh on the front part of his waist. He's got like a bone necklace, cool vest, and then he's got his weapon. Yelling as he's charging into combat. This is the Goblin Hero, number two of 12. Got three of those as well. Here's the Goblin Commando. This is number three. It's also common, and I got three of these. I love the headgear that he has on. It's like a, uh, I don't know, it looks like it may even be a Goblin Skull as a helmet. But I love his glaive that he has. It looks awesome like a junk glaive or something like that. He's got a nice furry, furry kilt on. Leather armor. Got that evil smile on his face. Big pointy ears. I, I also noticed that all of these early Pathfinder Battles minis, the miniature is on like a little miniature stand, as you can see, on a little miniature base. And then that little base is glued onto the small base with the writing and stuff. And all of these miniatures have the WBG logo on the bottom. So it you can actually tell what set they're from. So, But yeah, this is nice mini. I, I love the, uh, the glaive. The Goblin Commando, number three of 12. Number four, also a common, got three of these. This is the Goblin War Chanter. And I believe this was either in Rise of the Rune Lords or uh, Heroes and Monsters. This is the same exact one, just painted differently, different colors. But uh, yeah, this is the Goblin War Chanter. He's got a uh, like a dog slicer. He's got a, a whip that he's cracking. He's also got... Some nice uh, detail with the necklace. And the, the faces on these goblins look so good with the the green and the, the sunken in eyes that are red and the and the mouths that are red and big shiny white teeth. Really nice detail on these, especially for being a small miniature. Really nice. Goblin War Chanter number four of twelve, common on a small base. One of my favorite minis in the set, which is common, and I got three of these, and I'm so happy about that, 
is the, the Goblin Commando on a Goblin Dog. Now, there was a special promo figure for this miniature that I was able to find. And then this is also either in Heroes and Monsters or Rise of the Rune Lords. I can't remember which set. But there's a couple variations of this, you know, painted different colors. So you could actually put together quite a nice, you know, mounted combat if you wanted to with your, you know, your players and, you know, goblins. So I love the, uh, the goblin dog. I mean, great pose, nice dry brush, good looking saddle, you know, with a bedroll on it and stuff. Nice collar that the... I mean, the detail, the goblin's actually holding on to the collar. I mean, that's really nice. And then the distinctive eyes and mouth on the on the goblin dog. And then the the goblin rider looks good also with uh, one of those uh, glaives, the goblin slicer glaives, whatever they're called. I don't know. Pouches and stuff hanging off of his belt. Nice, uh, nice hood with the horns and the bone necklace. Yeah, this is a really nice mini. Yeah, these were, even though these are commons, I think these are about $10 a piece. So, yeah, with the case, I got three of these. And th these are actually on a medium base. So, this is uh, number five. This is a Goblin Commando on a Goblin Dog. One of my favorite minis in the set. Now, number six is the last common. And this is the Goblin Dog. And I'm glad that this was common. And I'm glad I got three of these as well. Because you can use these as, as different, you know, different types of creatures. And there's not a lot of, you know, hounds and stuff like this. So this is also on a, uh, on a medium base. But it looks good. Nice, distinctive, devilish face. Love it. I like how they painted the legs from the knee down black. It looks good. And then a flesh color, no fur, you know, this just gangly, rotten looking goblin dog with bony ribs sticking out. They miss his butt crack, though. They, need, <laughs> they, <need> to, <laughs> they, they missed their dry brush in there. Maybe that was intentional. I don't know. But yeah, good looking war dog, though. The goblin dog, number six to 12, medium base this is the last common. Now, my favorite miniature of the set, and you'll see why, the Goblin War Chief. Amazing miniature. This is actually one of my, probably one of my top 25 all-time miniatures. I'm going to do a video on that, too, and all my favorite minis. I think that would be cool. But yeah, the Goblin War Chief, number 7 of 12. This is rare. Only got one. Uh, this is also, I believe, in Heroes and Monsters. I think there's another one of these. That's painted a different color. And I think he has some crazy name too. So yeah, this this looks good. This this lizard, I love how it's on top of a rock. And this is on a medium base, by the way. I love how the lizard's on top of a rock. I love the blue color, the brown color. Pathfinder miniature fashion, long tongue sticking out. Yeah, I love the goblin. Nice crown. Goblin slicer, detail on the belt, beautiful looking saddle. Yeah, definitely one of my top 25 miniatures of all time, that's for sure. So good. This is such a nice miniature. Nice detail in the mouth with the, the rain and everything in there. So nice. Rare. Goblin War Chief, 7 of 12 medium base. That is rare. Number eight is Mer Mogmerk. I thought Mogmerk had four arms or three arms, but I need to read more about Weeby Goblins. I know there's a couple RPG day adventures for Weeby Goblins for Pathfinder First Edition. And then I think there were some Weeby Goblins comics too. So it would be good to get familiar with all of these goblins because I'm sure they all probably have a story. Mogmerk. Yeah, he's got a nice bone helmet. I like that. Covering the upper part of his face from the nose up. Nice bandolier he's got. Got some goodies on his belt. Look at that. He's got a bomb he's fixing to throw at you. And it looks like it's probably lit. I imagine it would be lit. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that when that thing lands at my feet, right? Yeah, great looking mini though. Mogmerk. 
or mod merch. I don't know. Eight of 12. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comment section. You said that wrong, Digital Dungeon Master. Shame on you. I'm reporting you to Paizo. <laughs> I've heard it all, folks. Eight of 12. Mog merch. Rare. Only got one. Number nine is Poog of Zang Zanagel. Zaragel. Poog of Zarangel. Real small writing. 9 to 12. This is on a small base. And Mog Merch was also on a small base also. So this is number 9. Rare, cool cloak. I like he's got like a... Like a pompadour going on. Like a pompadour haircut. <laughs> got his goblin slicer. Got like a chain mail or scale mail uh, tunic on. Good looking goblin, red eyes. He's not showing his teeth though. I think this might be the first the first goblin that isn't showing his teeth. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. So Poog is serious now. He's not showing his teeth. So here's Poog, small base, number nine of twelve, and he's also rare. Number ten, here is Rita Big Bad. She is a gorgeous little goblin. She's got nice flowing white hair, big red eyes, big shiny teeth. She's in a little white dress. She's got some stuff hanging off of a belt. Looks like she's got a she's got a little goblin bow and that looks like a uh, like a quiver on her side. So it looks like she's a goblin archer. She looks good though. She is also uh, one of the promo, one of the Gen Con promo figures that I was able to find too, where she's painted a different color. So here is Rita Big Bad, and uh, she's rare on a small base, and it's number 10 of 12. Number 11, our farmer goblin, Vorka. I don't know. She may, I don't think she's a farmer. I think she's a witch. She's got like a like a witch hat on or something. And she's got a tail. Is that a tail? Oh, no, that's a sword. I almost thought she had a tail. <laughs> My apologies on that. It's a, uh, I guess it's a doggling, goblin uh, dog slice or something in a, in a little scabbard. Yeah, she's, uh, she's chasing someone with her arms outreached and beautiful facial features on this one with the ears kind of sticking out to the side. And I love the hat, the pointy hat. She's got her little dress on, big shiny teeth, big red eyes. She's fixing to chomp down on somebody. She's going to bite him right in the neck. So this is Vorka, number 11 of 12. She's on a small base, and she is also rare. And the final miniature of the set is Chuffy Lickwound. What a great name. Chuffy Lickwound. He's uh he's showing his teeth kind of. He's got a smile on big red eyes though. He's he's uh he might be the assassin of the goblin bunch. He has on like a uh leather tunic and stuff. Doesn't look like a female, so I think Chuffy's a male. So yeah, good looking miniature. Nice and clean looking. So this is Chuffy Lickwound, number 12, rare on a small base. So there you are, everybody. That is the beautiful 12-piece set for the 2013 Weeby Goblins series. So this will give you plenty of goblins to run goblin encounters, and there are the cute Pathfinder goblins, which I absolutely adore. So... Good luck on trying to find one of these. These are pretty rare, but you can find the singles all over eBay, uh, and they range anywhere between 5 to $30 a miniature. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments section which miniature is your favorite goblin, and I want to join in on the discussion. And if you enjoy the content here on my channel, please give me a thumbs up like the video, and also subscribe to my channel. And on the right-hand side, there is a bell notification. Click that and you'll get notified every time that I release a video. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, keep collecting those miniatures. Bye for now.